Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video, I just wanted to do a quick comparison between two fragrances that I initially thought had some similarities to one another. And those two fragrances are from Chanel Cristal, the Eau de Parfum concentration. And from the house of Frederick Mall, this one is called La Parfum de Therese. So when I first got these fragrances, I, when I first I actually had this one, the Frederick Mall, I had this one uh, for at least a year. And I don't, the reason I got it is because it was classified as a Fruity Sheepra. And then I got into Cristal because I had been just going down this Chanel like rabbit hole and people were talking about the Eau de Parfum concentration being discontinued or not being available in the US. Um, so I picked up on it, but when I smelled it, when I was driving home, I was still testing it before I ended up getting a bottle. I was like, man, this reminds me of something. I couldn't put my finger on it. And then I said, voila, it was Parfum de Therese from Frederick Mall. And so there are some similarities and some differences in them. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So let's go ahead and get it going. Now, Cristal, the Eau de Parfum concentration. This is a vintage bottle from the 90s. I'm not sure exactly what year because this one is 125 splash and the newer ones uh, come in a spray bottle and they come in 100 ml. So this one was released in 1993. And the notes, so the notes on it are mandarin orange, melon, jasmine, peach, ylang ylang, vetiver, and oak moss. And the melon note is what is the biggest similarity between the two. And Le Parfum de Therese, this one was released in the year 2000, but the interesting thing about this one is that there's a storied history behind it. It was um, perfumed by Edmund Runitska, who I believe did some Dior fragrances as well, and those contain melon in it, and people in Fragrantica, people said it reminded them of many other types of fragrances, especially some other Dior's that I've never smelled, but it doesn't, it takes a while for me to get to uh, the similarity that people say between Cristal and this one. And so the story with this is that supposedly this is, this was his wife's fragrance that he had made specifically for her and then after he passed she gave the formula to them so this one was supposed to be have been created in the 1950s it says anywhere between 1957 and 1965 so theoretically and story-wise this this particular formulation is supposed to be older and the notes on this one are melon, tangerine, plum, rose, leather, vetiver, and cedar. So the the shared notes between uh, La Parfum uh, de Therese and Chanel Cristal Eau de Parfum are mandarin. They both have vetiver and they both have a like an orange note. One has tangerine and one has mandarin orange. But when I spray them on, I could really feel the differences, but that melon, whatever creates that melon accord is what the star of the show is. And that's what the biggest similarities between the two are. Now, when I smell them, uh, I have the dry down on me now. When I smell them now, they even, even in the openings, you can um, distinct the, the differences between the two. But from what I get, the um, Parfum de Therese, this one does go a little bit darker with the leather note. The leather note just gives it a little bit more like depth to it. Whereas, whereas Cristal is a little bit more like uplifting. It's lighter. It's not, it's not as deep and as serious as the other. Now, when I, when I smelled them without smelling them side by side, they were like completely similar to me. Like I said, that, that melon in it is the, the string that holds them all together. I don't know what creates that melon accord, but that's what, um, is the, the biggest similarity between the two. They are similar enough to where, say, this one wasn't available or, or the price of this one was too much because I paid retail for this. This one was over uh, $200 for a 50 ml, whereas a new 100 ml bottle of uh, Chanel Eau de Parfum, if you could find it, at least here was around $100. Forty dollars, something like that. Um, with with the Frederick Mall one, like I said, it's it's deeper. It's 
that melon is there and like I said the leather and a little bit of the cedar comes out it's um, a more dense scent whereas the Chanel is like lighter it's a little bit more uplifting it, it puts me in just a little bit of a better mood it's not as serious as the other one I like both of them equally I've spent more time with the Frederick Mall one and again I got this one specifically because it was labeled as a fruity sheeper and it was so unique to compare it to other sheepers that I've smelled as far as Mitsuko, Jubilation 25, Sheeper Palatan that you know it was kind of off-putting to me but now that I've tried it alongside Cristal getting used to Cristal and, and Melon in fragrances I, I have a much bigger appreciation for the Frederick Mall Le Parfum de Therese than I did before. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk about these like small similarities between the two. Have you ever tried them side by side? Have you ever tried any of the other fragrances that are on Fragrantica that they say this one reminds them of? Because like I said, I'm not a perfume historian, but as I was going through Fragrantica, I was thinking that he did uh, the EDT of Cristal, because the EDT came out, I believe, in 74, but he didn't do that one. I think uh, Henry Robert or something like that did it, but he did do some Dior fragrances. So if you know anything about these fragrances and the similarities, or you know anything about the Melon Note, uh, please let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.